Hi, and welcome back to lesson four of the beginners course. My name is Adam Phillips, and again I'm joined by Asya from Russia and Ravi from Australia. So today we're going to go initially through all the warm-ups. Now we're going to use the previous video from yesterday, and then we're going to allow, place that video in the beginning of every upcoming lesson on top of the normal material so that you have that option just to follow through all those warm-ups. So I'd like you to start by bringing the hands together and just by relaxing the eyes, allowing the knees to be soft. And just take a moment. And then opening the eyes, stepping back, and with the opposite hand touching the ground, the heart, the mind, and onto the leg. So to begin with, the hands are in front, up above the chest. Open and close. And then bring the hands down and down. And then bringing the hands up to the side and down. Excellent. Two hands as fists, stick out the thumb under the armpit. Just square off the feet, keep the arms up and then rotating one side and to the other. Looking to the elbow as you turn. Excellent. Hands onto the leg. And we just slide down and lift up here. Trying to keep the wrist straight. Try not to come forward. Down and up. Down and up. And change. 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 Excellent. Good. Bring the hands onto the navel, sliding down the leg, looking through and back up. And good, finishing there. And then the hands, now we turn to the side and down the leg, up and to the other side. Down, up and turn. Good, keep going. So we're looking now at the hands, the back of the hands, all the way through. Good, and finishing there. Now, bring the feet apart. Try to make some space between the feet. <clears throat> and we're gonna reach, first of all, as far forward as we can, without falling forward. So keep the weight here. Just reach to this point. And then between the feet. And then turn so the thumbs come to the outside. Drop the head down and reach back. Again to the front. Between, behind, in front, between, behind. 
Good. And just carry on, as generally. Now, if when you're doing this, you don't have that flexion in the hip, you can just reach like this. Absolutely fine. And then to here, and to here. Just reach as far as you can, whilst keeping the weight here, okay? So you can adapt this however it is that you are able to do it. But if you can get to the ground, that's excellent. Once more, in front, between, behind. Okay, and then bring the feet a little together. The right hand is gonna come down onto the left leg. If you can, go all the way to the foot. If not, the knee is fine. Looking here up at the hand. And then we relax the body, come down, look through the leg. And the left hand comes to the right foot, looking up at the right hand. And then again, relax and change. Relax and change. Relax and continue. So the important thing here is that you look through the legs as you cross the center. Once more. And finishing there. Good. Now, lifting the leg. So we'll start with the right leg. Lifting the right leg, catching inside the elbow. Let the foot relax, left hand in front. And finishing there. Excellent. At this stage, we're going to add a new exercise. Now, I'd like you to lift up first the right leg and the arm is gonna come underneath the leg. So it's gonna come inside and try to catch here. Now, if you can't do that, which is fine, just try to slap the leg or even here, slap on the underside. So it's about lifting and taking this arm underneath to here, so underneath this way. Okay, so together starting with the right leg, lift, hand down, and then the left, and the right, and the left. So here, also fine. Just touching, also fine. And good, rest there. The next new one, placing the foot straight. Lifting and placing the ankle on the knee. Join the hands. Lift the elbows to put some stretch into the forearm. And then, gently down and up. Now don't try to go too far, because you want the back to stay vertical as much as you can. The risk if you come down too far is you'll do this and crouch forward. So for now, just try a very small movement down and back up. Good. Changing legs. Good, 
and resting there. Now at this point, we go into this exercise that we did before. So release the arms, down and up. Release, down and up. Release. Release. Good. And then going back onto the ground. So placing the hands, opening the thumb and the fingers, stepping back either into this long position or into, with the knees down in a shorter position. From the plank then, straight down, forwards and back. Forward, down, forwards, back. Now I'd like to try a bit more flow. So we're not stopping, but one continuous flow forwards, down, forwards, back. And you can do this in either position, whether you're doing with the knees down or back. Just do a bit slower for me, Asya, just once more. So coming down, now here, as you come forward, go forward, take care to keep the head in this position, not to bring it here as you'll cause some compression in the vertebra. That's it, good, and rest. So the trick is, if you can stop at the bottom, Ravi, if you go down and look straight, you can fix your eyes where the floor is meeting the wall. And then as you lift up, you keep your eyes on that point and that will bring the head down, bring the chin into the chest. So here you fix the eyes, keep the eyes there and the head will automatically go into the right position. Excellent. Good, okay, so you can do, I always try to add perhaps one or two every week. So maybe on the two or three practices, do the same number. And then maybe once every three or four days, increase the number by a few, okay? Don't push too hard with this. You don't want to strain anything in the shoulder or the back. But these exercises can be very progressive and therefore very useful. Okay, so after that, we're gonna release the lower back. So first the arms. And then the lower back. So from in front, straight down. Keeping the legs straight this time. So we make seven like this. And then we're gonna make two. So one, two. One, two. So what we're doing here is we're just rotating the arms around. And as we do that, bouncing on the hamstrings. Try to keep the elbows in against the body as you do it. And then we'll do with three. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Really try to bounce, 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 bounce. And you'll find that you do get a gradual increase in the flexion. Good, and finishing there. 
And then we bring back the hands, stepping out. And we're going to hold on to the right wrist. And then we continue with the exercises that we had previously. Taking hold of the right hand in the left behind the back. Placing the feet square. We're going to turn first to the right side. Reach the body forward here and down. Sorry, Asya. That's it. Down, looking through the legs as you come across and up to the other side. Here, open and relax the shoulders. Then forward, down, looking through the legs and up to the right. Open and relax. Good. And then down. Yes. Open and release. Open and release. Good. Okay, I'm finishing there. And then we go back to the ones that we had yesterday. So placing the fingers on the shoulders, rolling forward. Trying to make as wide a circle as you can. Trying to bring the thumb, sorry, the elbow through the center. And then change. And relax there. And then lastly, rolling the arms back, looking straight. Now with the eyes, we're gonna go up wall, press slightly forward with the hips until you're looking up. And then forward. Once again. And once more. Good. <clears throat> so just three times this last exercise. And then bring the feet together. Bring the hands together. We're going to open the toes. Reach up with the hands. Place the right hand on top of the left. Reaching forward. Looking through the legs, back up again. Once more, forward. And up. And forward. So as you come up, reach the hands this way. Here, so you keep the length. And then bring the arms down. And just resting back onto two feet. Bring the hands together. Close your eyes if you wish. And again, take this moment to do a scan of your body. Just feel if there's anywhere that's feeling painful or stiff as a result, as a result of these exercises. So we've gone now through the full series of warm-ups, the low hearts, as I'm going to show you on this beginner's course. We will keep that, as I say, at the beginning of every video, in addition to all of the new material that we cover, just so that you can use that as a warm-up to prepare for the class. We'll go now on to the first kick. And what I'd like to do today is to progress that kick to take away the stepping back that we've been doing in between each movement. So you'll see what I mean in a moment. To start with then, lifting up the arms, and just as we've done before, stepping with the left and behind. Step with the right, behind. Step, behind. Good. 
and here we turn stepping back excellent let's take a step back and again step behind so trying to extend the knee from the ground so reaching forward with the ankle trying to pull the knee into extension and here we turn good and just take a walk so we're now going to progress this kick onto how it will be um, more as a finished as a finished exercise so rather than stepping back here we're going to just keep moving forward so think of it just like a walking so when you're walking you're walking normal walking and we're just going to add this swinging to the walk Just swinging the leg from the hip joint. Okay, let's try. So reaching with the arms. Stepping with the left, swing, behind. Step, swing, behind. Swing, behind. And when you get to the end, Turning as before. Excellent, good. Left leg is in front. Step, swing, behind. Take care of your toes. And here, step forward. So you're gonna make that right kick and step forward into the horse position back leg is straight the left hand comes here and then we're going to turn in a clockwise direction step forward into the horse again just stay there and as we step forward extend the arms and then back cross and finish so just to show you that once more, we step with the left, kick, step forward into the horse, left hand up. And as you turn, the eyes, the foot, and then stretch. The reason we do this is to ground the body again after the exercise, after the kicking. We're increasing a lot of the air in the body. Up, up, up. So this is to come back down again. So let's try once more. Stepping with the left. Swing. Step with the right. Swing. Step and kick. Step and kick. Step and kick. Step and kick. Step and turn. Excellent. Step and kick. Step, kick. Step and kick. Step and kick. And step forward. Left hand up. Turn. Step forward and stretch. And back. Good, and take a walk. Good. So then, bringing up the arms, and once again we'll do in the same way, so without stepping back. So stepping with the left, 
Swing the right, behind, step, behind, step, behind, step. One more on the left, one more on the right, and then turn. Good, left foot in front. And then, stepping with the right leg, and the left. And here we step forward. Excellent. So back leg is straight. Front knee over the ankle. Hand is up on the ear. And then as we turn, this back leg is going to come all the way around and step in front. And the eyes are going to switch from looking here to looking behind. So turn. Step forward and step forward. From here we come back, cross the arms and finish. Good, excellent. Okay, so let's just see that turn once more. So the left leg is going to be behind. I'm going to step with the left, step forward with the right. The weight here is forward, left hand comes up, turn, step forward and stretch the arms. Good, okay, let's go through once more all together. Volticcia vuol tenere. 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 Tidishi. Good. Volticcia vuol tenere. Volticcia vuol tenere. Volticcia vuol tenere. Volticcia vuol tenere. Step forward. Left hand up. Turn and step forward. And back. And walking. Good. So, really, what we're looking here is to use this movement forward of the leg. So after the kick here, here is the initial momentum to bring up the opposite leg. Here is the momentum, here. So it shouldn't be so much that you have to lift the leg. The leg should just follow up. This leg is now following the left one. This leg is now following the right. So it often helps with learning this technique simply to walk, just simply to step. And then as you're stepping, add a swing here. Add a swing. So you're stepping and then you're swinging. And you can extend that obviously then into the kick. Okay, so try. If you have some trouble, come onto the forum and ask me or let me know. Maybe I can give you some extra guidance on how to, to find the clarity in that technique. Okay, so now we're going to go uh, back through the form that we started. Rather than starting this time with the postures, I want to start with the form. That's the general pattern for calorie practice. That you'll do the warm-ups, which we now have a complete set of. The first kick, sorry, the kicks all together, of which we have now the first one. Then you will do the forms that you have. And then at the end, just to secure and stabilize the body, then you use the postures. So we're going to go now straight into the Kalari Vandanam form, which we had before. 
feet are together then to start. Bringing the hands together, the elbows. And just resting the eyes. Opening the eyes, opening the right foot, lift the left, step forward into horse and extend the arm. The left hand comes back to the chest, the right hand forward, over and to the knee. The right hand then comes up, left hand down, stepping down with the foot. Hands come together, forward, back, in front, around, cross the thumb, open the hand, turn and go up, fingertips leading you down and up into the elephant. Placing the hands, placing the leg, here making the triangle for the cat. Forward bow, sitting back, place the hands, reaching up, forward, back, around, up, over and down. Pushing up to standing. We're now going to turn in a clockwise direction. So the right leg comes around, steps behind, and we lean forward into the horse. Sorry, just that's it. Then lift up the right leg, step forward. Left hand back, cover the head, lift up. Step down, together, forward and down, forward and back. In front, turn the hand, turn the body, cross the thumb, open the hand and go up over and down. Here, make sure you keep the bum lifted, not to sit, but to lift. Place the hands, sitting into cat. Forward bow, and sitting back. Place the hands, Back of the hands together. Forward. Back. In front. Check the feet are not too wide. Around. Up. Over and down. Push up to standing. And again, the right leg going back, turning clockwise into horse. Excellent. Lift up, step forward. Left hand back, cover the head, lift up. Step down, together, forward back, in front. Watching the nails of the thumb as you go around, continue to watch them as you go up, over and down. Placing the hand, 
sitting down into cat. Placing the hand, reaching back up, forward, back, in front, around, up, over and down. And finishing there. Excellent, good. Okay, so what we've done there is we've taken the sequence in three, uh, three repetitions, yeah? First time we come up, we turn, we go back, we turn, and then we come up again. Still we need to add the end on to this form. That's a little bit more complex, it changes a little bit. So we'll do that in the next class, okay? So for now, just try to work on having these three parts. So you're coming up, turning, going back, turning and going up again. I'd say you probably need to try this a couple of times, so hit the rewind button now, go back and do it once again. The next thing we'll do is we'll go on and we'll look at the postures just to finish. We'll just stabilize the body a little bit with the horse, the elephant and we'll finish with some cat. To finish then, let's go through the postures that we have. Bringing the feet together, bringing the hands together. We're going to step forward into horse and then I'd like you to do some long breathing. So try to make the out breath as long as you can. So opening the right foot, lifting the left, stepping forward, extending forward with the arms and inverting the hands to here. Breathing with the nose. And really reach forward with the hands and really reach backwards with the right heel. So you're creating a stretch down that right side of the body, down the lateral line. And then stepping back. Opening the left foot, lifting the right, stepping forward. Inverting the hands. Reaching forward, reaching back. Opening the right, lifting the left, once more. Now by focusing on the exhalation, by making the out breath as long as you can, the body will relax, the body will calm down. And stepping back. It's about bringing the body into the rest and digest response. Lifting the right. So we'll talk about this more, but we're working on activating here through the vagus nerve. We'll discuss this in the science video. And resting there. So we've done that twice on each side. You can do three times, if you wish. And try to now, try for now to make three to five breaths in each repetition. The next thing, the next position we'll look at is the elephant. So feet together. 
Opening first the toes, then the rest of the feet. Check they are square and check again that we have the three hands there. As long as you're learning, that's a good thing to keep checking. And then, arms up, fingers down, thumbs on top, join the elbow. Come down, hands to the chest, relax the shoulders, and then the hands come down. The knees come out, lift the pelvis back and up, lift the chest up and forward. Keep the knees wide, keep the bum lifted back. That's it. Good, stay there, stay there. So here you just want to lift up and forward. That's it. And bring the weight a little bit in the front. So up and then the weight forward here. Now if you find your triceps are getting tight, you can stretch, you can drop the head down. So you're still activating and working all the muscles in the lower body. You're just giving a release to the triceps and to the attachment on the shoulders. And then you can come back when you're ready. And resting, coming up. If you need, just give the legs a little shake. If the legs at this point, they're still feeling tough, still feeling tight, you can add a line of kicks here. The first kick, as we have done, just very easy, and it will just help to stretch out the hamstrings. So if you're feeling some tension in the back of the legs. If it's okay, then carry on and do once more. So firstly, opening the toes, the feet, reaching up, fingers down, Thumbs on top, join the elbows. And here you're watching the nail on the thumb. Keep watching the nail all the way until it joins the head. Lifting the bum back and up, lifting the chest forward, bringing the weight forward. Again, focusing on the out breath. Try to make the out breath as long as you can. So I'll just put some sound onto it. And I'll breathe with my mouth so you can hear my breathing pattern. and relax. So obviously breathe with the nose as I've said, but try to make that exhalation as long as you can and let the in-breath come as a response to the lung being empty. We'll discuss this in later detail, but the emphasis in the breathing on calories is always just to allow the breath to be natural and if there's any focus it's on the out-breath because the in-breath is considered na a natural response to the lung being empty. Okay. To finish then, we're going to sit down into the cat and just rest there for a moment. So we're going to place the hands down, bring this right foot behind, put the knee outside, sit back. So we have this nice triangle here, one, two, and the third point at the back. The elbow is an extension. We can touch with the thumb on the first finger and with the palms facing up, we will receive energy. This is chin mudra. Or if we are a bit overstimulated and we need to calm down, we can make what's called jhan mudra, and this will be more grounding. So you can do as you wish. Or if you wish, you can just let the hands rest. Feel free to close your eyes. And again, try to bring the attention to listening to the sounds in the space around you. So here we have some different birds, some very interesting birds. 
also the sound of the motor, some industrial sounds. So try to pick out these different sounds and to stay present in the external environment. Again, through focusing on the exhalation, through making it as long as you can, you can again help to calm the body down to bring the rest and digest response, which involves a reduction of heart rate, a reduction in the inflammation in the body, a general feeling of softening. So when you're ready, opening the eyes, simply lean forward, take the weight off that back leg. Ankle could be feeling a bit stiff and coming back up to standing. Excellent. Okay, so to finish, we're just gonna do one line of kicks as we do normally and finish with the three forward bends. So if you position yourself with the space so you can do your seven kicks. So then bringing up the arms and taking very gently just to release the hamstrings. They're gonna be tight from the postures, so very gently. Step with the left, swing, step with the right. Volticcio al tenere, volticcio al tenere. Volticcio al tenere. Volticcio al tenere. Volticcio al tenere. Finishing there, bring the feet together. Open the toes, and in your own time, three forward bends. Bringing down the arms, joining the hands. Just take a moment to rest. Close the eyes if you wish. Stepping back. Excellent. So that brings us to the end of these first four lessons, these ones that I've made available to all of you to access. I hope you've enjoyed them. I hope you've got something beneficial from it. Um, I've made it so that you have the whole of that warm-up sequence. You have a good introduction to the first kick. You have the basic postures and you even have the majority of the first form. So you can really see how calories starting to build from the ground up with these different elements of practice. So if you have any questions about any of the content, please use the forum whilst you still have access to it. Ask those questions of me. And hopefully uh, we've interested you enough in this program to continue and you will stay uh, one of the students and keep using it as we go forward. There's gonna be another 14 lessons for this beginner's course. So it will run for two months. And then there will be a foundation, an intermediate and an advanced course, which you can complete over one year. So thank you very much for your time today. From me, Nale Kanam. Nale Kanam. And I'll see you hopefully next week. All the best.